Zone 3 Podcast, RSNA 2023, and we are at, ah, oh, man, uh, Scan Lab, Imaging You Booth, with my man, Matt Hayes. Matt, please tell us what you guys got going on, because I know you got some updates for us. No, we got some good stuff. Um, we are, uh, today we just released Scan Lab CT. Oh, nice. And, um, and, I mean, I know you guys are primarily, you know, MR focused, but yeah, yeah. you're right that you got some modality, multimodality techs and things along those lines. Shout so. out. It'll be, uh, I can tell you a little bit about that. Oh, um, sure. Also, what we've just released as well two days ago is the Ultra Lab. So I can show you a little bit about that. I think it's really cool, kind of like the next the next uh, evolution and, and, and where, we're, where we're headed, which is all multimodality, all um, across vendors and things like that. So if I just uh, show this right here. So oh, yeah. I'm really excited about this because it can be, it's a real challenge uh, to be able to, especially if you have multiple vendors at your at your oh, you know, yeah. hospital or things like that. Right. Especially as a student, those can be, can be really intimidating. But you see in Ultralab, you can scan at 1.5 or 3T. There's now a time aspect of this. So any anything you change will affect time. And you'll see also, uh, I can switch in real time to GE. So now you'll see at GE, I have acquisitions and, and necks and you know, uh, my frequency encoding direction is denoted oh, by the blue yeah. arrow to where now, um, if I went back to, to Siemens, what, and everything is the same, like echo train link versus turbo factor, all of those things change. And all the mo most importantly, the behavior is perfect. Right. So now if I go back to Siemens, I have my phase encoding direction. And now you'll see um, I have instead of NSA or NEX, or I have averages, I have concatenations instead of acquisitions or packages. Oh, man. And so this will really go a long way in making no, the making the yeah. user ultimately feel much more comfortable uh, with whatever scanner they're going to they're going to be performing on for that sure. day. So for sure. So it's really you really dialed in the vendor UI almost, or at least got it close enough. Well, to it, relate to what some of the other options yeah, are on the scan. The windowing and leveling is perfect because you know uh, GE versus Siemens yeah. is completely backwards, yeah. like left-handed versus right-handed system. Yeah. So. I mean, the point of this is to really uh, get the behavior, not necessarily knowing the buttonology, uh, but that's where we're headed next, to be able to take this functionality and put it inside the shell nice. of a Siemens, of a, of a, of a Philips. We're, we're doing that currently. Awesome. So, um, but you'll see that it, it's what, what, what I think is still missing in, in uh, across vendors is uh, uh, SNR, mm -hmm. for instance, is is not correct on Philips, on GE, or on Siemens. They right. they don't they don't uh, the the TR the TE a the, lot. The, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't actually affect your relative SNR. Right, that calculates so, it. Yeah, right. we so we want to do it much more responsibly. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty excited about that aspect of things. And ultimately, in the Ultra Lab, what we'll do later on is you can choose SAR uh, slash B1RMS. Okay. Uh, signal uh, contrast and the different, the different bits of, of yeah. parameters that affect those things will will light up as well. So from an educational standpoint, we're excited about this to be able to simulate. And again, I mean, this is something that would normally take a minute and a half with every parameter that we've got, but we do it in about 14 seconds. And this is uh, this is real time stuff. So um, typically, I mean, like internet connection wise can be anywhere between eight to 17 seconds. So you'll see at this point, um, you can be able to see exactly at three Tesla, what a TE of 80 and a TR of 4,000 milliseconds and an echo train length of, or terror factor of 14. Wow. You can see that across. And for Philips, uh, Philips, I don't know if you know this, but you choose your voxel size oh, right. instead of the actually choosing your- Image matrix. Uh, exactly. So. And we're making it to where, and you know, we have sense factor instead of asset on GE versus uh, versus that's uh, huge. iPad. That's it's huge because the terminology a lot of times is the hardest part for a new student for new technologists, I right? Mean, Bouncing back and forth. Exactly. I mean, and 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 the the cool thing about this is 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 again risk free environment. You can do it over and over and over again. Right. So I mean, thirty different body parts, five different vendors now. Um, and mm. really get you used to the functionality and the behavior wow. uh, of this. So we're, we're excited about that. This is great. It's already ready for release. Oh, it's, yeah. we'll, we'll, be, we'll be giving it to our current customers. Uh -huh. uh, so we have Who's ScanLab interested? Premium and we have ScanLab Lite. This will be included yeah. in, in any of our premium uh, users. 
and you'll see this is a preview of the of the uh, acceleration maybe well well this is now you can the the next step for us is to be able to plug that functionality into uh the vendor software and so at that point we can really get you good at the buttonology but for us the the the, the core competency has always been getting good at the modality of right. mri not just right. saying i'm good at ge or i'm good at siemens but this is the next step for us man this is beautiful thanks buddy it's beautiful. been fun beautiful. um and then and then if you want to if you want to yeah let's touch hit ct on. yeah so you'll see i'm a ct tech as well um i truth be told i like mri a little bit more but i've taught physics sure. for ct and things like that but um uh, we, we wanted to have uh, uh, the element, the injector element, definitely inside of here. And uh, we'll be putting out to where you can actually, you have to draw it up in that order. So you have to draw it up before you move to the next step. So it's, I think CT is a big thing is, is multitasking and making sure you're kind of on top of it. You can see you can change the patient. Um, you can change their orientation. Oh, yeah. So you, you'll be able to change for, I mean, 60 different combinations. I can be able to then, uh, depending on if I'm scanning craniocaudal or cross cranially, so head to foot or foot to head, I need to be able to set my landmark and we will be able to tell if your landmark is appropriate. Dear. Oh so ideally here, MRI, we're looking to really save time and things like that. And in CT, we're looking to save dose. Right. So if someone's starting up here, the patient's getting unnecessary dose. So you see, you can move the patient. And we're really excited about the new 3D aspect of, of what we're doing, like the VR um simulating the actual room right but also making sure we're doing it in the just like regular scan lab mr making sure we're doing it in the order that you will do it in in clinical practice to where you're getting good at the order right you can see the we you can stop this at any time and save your like right now i would hit stop anything else other than that i'm giving the patient a necessary dose to their thyroid eyes so and then only uh, at, at this point you see we have the the how much Contrast that I put in is now loaded and ready to go mm -hmm. for contrast only studies or or anything like that yes. Yes. And you'll see if I come through and I say uh, You know confirm my so this is my acquisition step. So I'm gonna acquire in this case helical uh, Helical data, you know um, 3d basically, right? So I can say uh, Yeah, there you go. There's a good good look at our interface So we want to have you know the equivalent of you are gonna hit start and start and you have your delay times and and things like that. So you'll see at this case, if I'm going to go ahead and start acquiring data, you see, mm -hmm. notice that it's, it's synchronized with the, uh, with the patient themselves. So as I hit start and we start to acquire this data, see the patient is moving, um, oh, while yeah. we, while we're acquiring it, but also when you go in and you that. create your slices, the patient will also move with you. So this was really important no. for us. You can change your, uh, pitch. You can change your, right. uh, window and, and your, your uh, kernels and things like that. So I think on this one, we'll, we're going to acquire a, a, a soft tissue, um, smooth in this case, I think. But um, again, this is a risk-free place to where the patient doesn't have to suffer. Right. Uh, I know when I was learning, it's, it's kind of a tough bag because it, it, MRI, there's definitely safety issues. We all know this, right. but in CT, we have a different element of, of you can't repeat like you can repeat an MRI. Exactly. Yeah, so we'd rather you get it right. break the eggs, make the omelets right. uh, over here to be able to uh, to be, you know, make an immediate impact and yeah. and not on the patient's dose. That's awesome. And when will this one be kind of ready to for yeah. the masses? Uh, we start doing demos uh, on December first. Oh, nice. And we go live on on January first with with uh, our clients. I mean, we get everybody's like, "Hey, is CT done? Is CT done? Is CT done?" Because right. And we think that MRI is the best, and right. you know, I mean, yeah. it's, okay. it's okay. There's a lot of CT techs but out there, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, I mean we got we to gotta help, you know, help throw them ball a little bit, but, <laughs> but this will, we've got, we've got our, our universities and our NHS partners that are what? chomping at the bit for this, and uh, we're excited to be able to give them, awesome. give it to Once them. again, Matt, thank you so much. I, I can't imagine what you could possibly do next, next time we see you. So, uh, dude, you, every time we come here and you got something going on, it, it still drops our jaw, so you keep that up. Thanks, buddy. You know what I'm saying? No, we appreciate it. <clears throat> so, Zone 3 Podcast, RCNA 2023, Scan Lab, Imaging You. Make sure you check their link, which will be in the description. Mm -hmm. They're doing amazing things. We're out. Bye. Thanks, buddy. Damn. Let's see.